Okay, also I have my uh, helmet. I've got, uh, oh, um, yeah, new helmet. It's just a um, fairly inexpensive uh, regular, regular um, hard shell bike helmet. And uh, yeah, I've put some lights on it. Um, so I've got my battery pack up here, just um, for for knuckle metal hydride batteries. And uh, they can be any brand you want. <laughs> Probably be better with um, a nice, nice lithium polymer battery, but uh, whatever. These are uh, fairly cheap and easy to work with. Um, and I've got some uh, Cree XML uh, lights here, and uh, I've made a copper copper heatsink and housing, and also it holds the lens quite nicely in here. And on the bottom, I took some copper pipe, cut it open, hammered it flat, and soldered it on to the uh, to the pipe or to the pipe cap and uh, drilled a hole in the bottom for the wires to come out uh, and then velcroed it onto the helmet the, the rationale being that I can uh, unvelcro this and move it around to adjust them, rotate them forward and back left, right, up, down and also in the event of a crash they can break off and uh, not get jammed into my skull which is, which is good <laughs> Um, anyway, yeah, so adjustable. Uh, I've got some reflective material in here. And I've also got some little surface mount white LEDs uh, in the front. And two red um, LEDs in the back. And uh, so you'll notice these are on, uh, on starboards here. And uh, yeah, word to the wise: when, if, and when you get some uh, some high power LEDs, it's a good idea to get them pre-mounted on backboards, not just the uh, the individual element themselves. Um, you might risk breaking them, because I broke a whole bunch of them, which is kind of a drag. Um, that said, these smaller ones are actually uh, fairly robust. And I'm looking a little out of focus here. But anyway, the uh, these smaller ones are, are pretty tough, and I haven't broken any of those ones. Uh, yeah, so we've got two modes here. We've got um, a little spring, big spring. Um, that's just a can, like a can of tomatoes or something that I uh, doubled up, bent over, and glued on uh, to a domino. And then inside here I have uh, a three-position switch. It's click on click on again, and then off. Um, so I'll click it on. And this is kind of, uh, I call it running light mode. So I have the two uh, two sets of small LEDs. And these are just for visibility. You can see them from uh, a lot of angle angles all around. So it gives me a lot of visibility on my bike. And in the back, that was uh, red flasher lights. Now you notice this one is on a heat sink that's also velcroed on here and this one is just free floating so I, I uh, figured I needed a heat sink so I put uh, glued this one with uh, thermal epoxy onto uh, diamond plate uh, aluminum and I tried this one just free floating um, but it doesn't get hot and it hasn't burned out so I think next time around I'll just use uh, just use the starboard um, itself for uh, for these red ones um, because they're intermittent. They're not blasting on all the time, so I guess they have enough time to cool off. Anyway, so there's that. Uh, the flash is driven by a simple 555 circuit uh, and then boosted up through um, a uh, a really nice uh, MOSFET-based uh, LED driver circuit. Uh, which I'll link to down uh, down below. What else? Um, now before I turn on the the main ones, I'll uh, just point out that I glued the starboard itself 
into uh, onto the bottom, or I guess, yeah, put some glue on the starboard and then shoved it down into the bottom of the, uh, the cap to, um, to thermally glue it in place. Um, had the lens on there in the lens holder, I shoved that in, rotated it until it snapped in place, and, uh, and then I folded up some cardboard and shoved it in here and wound an elastic band around and around and around to, to hold it in place really tightly and uh, left it overnight. Yeah, so that's how I glued it on. So, I'll push this again and... and it's kind of hard to tell because uh, this camera is adjusting its own light level, but these are, these are hella bright. I've never seen a bike light as bright as these. Um, even the really expensive $200 ones, they're, uh, they're nothing compared to this. Um, I think these run at uh, 3 volts and uh, 3 amps a piece. I didn't r run them quite that high, but that's, uh, that's 9 watts each. Um, I'll have to redo the math on that, but uh, yeah, it, it runs off these uh, batteries at um, over about an hour. It lasts about an hour, maybe a little less, on uh, with these big honking lights. And then off. And then the running lights last, I don't know, a lot of hours, like six hours or something, just with the, uh, the flasher lights. And these are pretty bright too. Um, they have no lenses on them, so you can see them from, uh, I guess, about 90 degrees, or 180 degrees-ish. Um, yeah. Right. So, yeah, this, uh, this works. <laughs> works well. And, uh, keeps the education on the correct side of your skull. Alright, that's it for now.